Hello everyone. Today I will gonna introduce you the JSON server. This is a server which is very widely used for many developers to just mock some data directly into the JSON file. Also it is very useful just for the prototyping into the front-end side. So we can start the development very easy with the JSON server and the installation and setting up everything takes less than 30 seconds. Believe me, definitely I have tested it is less than 30 seconds. So let's begin, shall we? And before we continue, please subscribe for the next videos so you will get updates anytime when I post a new video. So here we need to install first the JSON server. And we need to install it as globally so we can do it with npm install g json server. It is installing right now. it has installed the JSON server itself. Now we need to create a file I have already created as a data.json so I will copy paste this uh, file directly so you can directly use that you don't need to write everything from the beginning and this data JSON will be our data place. And as you see, we have the users. It has four different users. And from the folder, the directory, you need to go and uh, find that place. And with the JSON server, you need to write JSON server watch. And after that, you need to write the file itself, data.json. As you can see here, it says the loading data JSON and there is a users you can directly access. Also there is a home page and basically our JSON server is running now. So let's go see the localhost here. As you can see our JSON server is already ready. And we have the resources and the, our running JSON server is running here without any issues. And we have uh, the users we can directly open. So when we click that users, as you see, it is redirected us to, let me make it a bit more bigger. It is redirected us to localhost 3000, which is exactly the same URL it was saying into the resources. And we have the same data for the users, as you see, the only difference is here we don't have the users key here inside the array it is just passing the value here and so this is the JSON server we are using for example if you want to add a new thing here you can add it directly like that you can make it 5 user 5 the user 5 test.mail when I refresh the page, it automatically add the fifth user directly into my JSON server. So, in the query parameters here, we can do some stuff. For example, filtering. And I will show you now. So, if you add the query parameter, and if you say name equals user1, as you see, we get the, the name user1 has been filtered, it's returned into the array, and the object is there. So if we want to go to user2, the name, is, as you directly see, it has changed now. We have the username directly came up here. And let's go with the user5, which we added lately, and user5 is here. What happens if you just change the value here and save it there. When you refresh the page, as you see, the user5 change testmail.com came up here. 
Okay, I will put it back and uh, when I refresh the page it seems okay. So if you want to make the filtering with email instead of name here you need to write email and the user at testmail.com as you see let's make it user tree testmail.com we have filtered with the email like that so there is one thing i would like to show here to using the postman to edit all of these data so i have opened the users again and i'm opening my postman here as you see i have created get post patch and put requests already and all of the uh, the get url looks like localhost 3000 the users so let's make a request as you see we get all of the details all of the user information here i will make a bit more zooming onto the screen so you can see all of the values are here like this it one more bigger and if you want to add a new value we will use the post users as you can change the values from here into the body you will choose the row and the json so let's change it to user 6 and the user 6 test mail and the id as a 6 so let's send it okay we send and we get the success 201 created message and when we request the users one more time as you see we have the users user 6 is created here if you restart the server this value will gone because we don't have that value in we have it here directly and but uh, you can of course if you delete it it will just update your json value here and the patch we, i can show you for the user one if you want to just update the user name you can just make it like this and you see the user one update directly came up here when we get the users we will also see user one update just arrived there and the put as well so this is the replacing the value for also the uh, the for the user one user one update let's call it with put and also let's change the email like this with put okay and now you see our values has been changed directly so that's it all of the json server endpoints we will discover today was four of them and one of uh, the first one was the get the second was the post and the patch and the put anytime you want to close your server here you can look at your terminal if you come up here and uh, press ctrl c you can always let's test it as you see our server is not connected you ha can uh, but if you go to code as well all of your data has been saved into data.json if we start the server one more time with the data.json and if we go to the postman we make the request as you see all of the variables values is exactly the one as we have updated or created so you can use that as for your development purposes you can make the request like this directly and yeah definitely this is i would what i would like to show you today as you can see it's very easy to use and it is very handy tool uh, you should learn for your development before you create your server and thank you so much for listening to me today and before we close the video please subscribe for the next lessons thank you for listening and i wish you have a nice day and happy coding